Today I'd like to talk about um, with the fixed expanders um, and how to turn these expanders. Um, so this expander is a type of plate which is fixed in place. It's seated around these back teeth along the top and generally the aim of this is to widen the upper jaw. So we have an expander in already and now how are we going to uh, start turning it? So the first the question is uh, when to start turning it and the best time to do that is generally after you clean your teeth at night so that way this hole or this center bit that we see here is clean this center bit is a wheel and in that wheel there's four holes and it makes one um, one um, it, it makes um, um, uh, a turn and each turn is widens the upper jaw by about a quarter of a millimeter so step one is make sure you got a clean hole do that when do that after uh, you brush your teeth at night step two you can see that with the key here there's a small uh, bend in this um, key now don't be worried we have quite a few parents worried that you know they may push too hard and they may hit their son or daughter's gums so that bend is to stop that from happening to place this key in you would generally line up the handle so that it's parallel with the middle of the wheel. So you don't turn it like that, but line it parallel. And then you want to make sure that you gently rotate that and it goes, the key will go in right to the very base of that wheel. So you want to have an area around the living room where you have a bright light or in the bed where you've got a bright lamp and then once you've done that you want to turn that and as you turn it you push back and you want to push back all the way until you see the next hole so if we just rotate that you can see that we can see the next hole now in that area there and that's when you remove the handle. The two most common mistakes parents do with turning this is one when they turn that so you only do that one turn a day or as, a, as recommended by the doctor when we turn that parents don't wait until they see, they see the next hole in that wheel before they take it out and that becomes problematic because then they struggle to find the next hole or find it hard to put it in remember that this is somebody's mouth and the front that when it's when it's removed midway while it's easy to see here it's very hard to see inside the mouth if you don't turn it a full revolution so that's the most that's the most common mistake that parents make and the second most common mistake is when when that um, um, they when they when it's in, it's turned one whole revolution, but then the um, 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 but then um, your son or daughter who's got the plate closes the mouth, and in order to take this plate out, you wind it back, and you wind it back, and now you've got a similar problem of the hole in the middle. You can't see the hole on the very front part of the mouth and it becomes hard. Now there's an easy way to work around this and the, the first thing lies in bending this key. So you want to bend it so it's like a 90 degree or close to a 90 degree. Find the middle of the hole and again the key thing is lining up this handle so it's centered between the two front teeth or approximately around there um, and turn it so that until you see the next hole. Now as you turn that, you I generally want to keep that inward pressure and turn it back so towards the back part of the mouth and expect this handle and that um, uh, wire key to bend as we start turning that. So initially you have it straight and as you turn it, it will bend and 
as it bends, it's moving that wheel and turning the expander. So this, that's it for the expander, and that also covers the two main troubleshooting problems that parents encounter.